My name is Rebecca Williamson. My brother Ewan died fighting a fire on Dowry Road in Edinburgh on July the 12th, 2009. He and a colleague were following a hose line out of a, building, a burning building when they became separated and he became trapped above the fire's source. His colleagues desperately and bravely tried to rescue him, hacking through layers of steel mesh, metal plates, bars and panels, walls and windows to try to reach him. But by the time they got to him, it was too late. Ewan was a very caring man. He was loved by everyone he met. When he died, our lives fell apart. And not just our lives, also the lives of his friends and colleagues. We would not have got through it without the love and support of our family and friends, but also of Ewan's friends, and in particular, the firefighting community. In trying to get justice for Ewan, in, learning, in trying to learn and share the lessons from his death, we did not know who to turn to. But the Fire Brigade Union were there for us. In 2009, and for all the years since, they have supported us, both practically and emotionally. They have supported Ewan's workmates by ensuring access to professional counselling. They have helped us to achieve justice and to ensure that Ewan's legacy is to make firefighting safer. We are very grateful to them. As my mum once said, even after Ewan's death, I still wouldn't say to someone, don't be a firefighter, because Ewan loved his work, and it's honourable work. But I would say to them, if you're going to be a firefighter, you must join the Fire Brigade Union. More recently, the Union had put up a red plaque in Edinburgh in Ewan's honour. It's a tribute to the sacrifice he made to protect his community and save the lives of others. It is something to remember him by. What happened to Ewan should never happen to any firefighter. But if it does, we must honour them because they do it for us. They put themselves at risk for all of us. We are so proud of Ewan. He will be forever in our hearts. Thank you. My name's Dave Faust, father of firefighter Billy Faust, who died alongside his workmates, firefighter Adam Meir, on the 20th of July, 2004. Alongside me is John Scott, Billy and Adams, station officer at Whitechapel Fire Station at the time of their tragic deaths. John has kindly stepped in to speak for me. Once he had decided he wanted to be a firefighter, Billy was desperate to join the service. I remember how nervous he was going to do the tests. He was so excited when he found out that he had made the grade. We all were. It didn't take him long to fit in. He loved his work. A round peg in a round hole. He loved working with a group of like-minded individual characters who enjoyed some fun but were deadly serious and professional when the time arose that they needed to be. It took Billy nearly two hours of travelling to report for duty every shift. I had to shout at him to get out of bed every morning. We tried to get him to move to a station closer to home, 
but he wanted to stay where he was because of the people he was working with and how well they worked together. How each person brought something different to the table. They were a real team. And as Aristotle said, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. At work, Billy wanted to be seen as someone who could be relied upon. Someone who knew what he was doing, someone prepared to take responsibility. Someone whose knowledge could be tapped into, be that by an officer on the fire ground asking for advice, or, as in Adam's case, someone with only a few months' service in need of reassurance and guidance. That's the person Billy was. That's the person Billy's work enabled him to be. But even someone who knows the, da of the danger of what they're doing is putting themselves in that danger. They take the responsibility to fight a fire. Since Billy's death, I've learned that every firefighter has a story. A story about deciding for no good reason to turn left instead of right, and only afterwards realising that that decision saved their life. I think this is why firefighters' deaths hit all firefighters so hard, because other firefighters know how easy it could have been them. It is one of the things that makes the service a family, and it is a family. I cannot put into words how supportive of me Billy's workmates have been since his death. Knowing that my son has not been forgotten by them is such a comfort to my family. Their support means so much. I'm not sure we would have got through this without them, but I am grateful for all the support we have had from the Fire Brigade Union. The way that firefighters care for the public is incredible, but so is the way that they care for each other and beyond each other to each individual's family and their friends. It makes me feel so proud that this is something Billy was part of. At the end of last year, with the support of the Fire Brigade Union, we built a memorial to Billy and Adam in, in the community that they served at Museum Gardens at Bethnal Green in London's East End. This red plaque was the first of many to go up around the UK honouring fallen firefighters. These plaques are in memory of those who have died, but they're also a reminder to the public that firefighters do this and they do this for you. Tragic fires like Grenfell Tower don't happen every day, but when they do, every firefighter steps up to the plate to put their life on the line for us. So when you see a red plaque in your community, I encourage you to take a moment, like I will, to think of firefighters like Billy and Adam who lost their lives protecting others. Thank you. Thank you.